Hello all, in this video I will solve 10 linear algebra questions of CSIR net exam from previous year question papers. Let us take the first problem. Let A, B be n by n matrices. Which of the following equals trace of A square into B square? So we know that trace of A, B is equal to trace of B, A. So trace of A square into B square equal to trace of A square can be written as A into A, B square can be written as B into B. So that is equal to trace of A, this matrix you have to take it as A and this full matrix you have to take it as B. So as per this rule, trace of B A, so trace of A B B into A, so that is nothing but trace of A B square into A. So answer is the second option. Next one more question. Let A B M by N matrix of rank N, this is given to you with real entries, choose the correct statement. Four options are given to you. So it is uh, AX equal to B, X equal to 0, AX equal to B has solution and these are the options. Now you should know that AX equal to B has a solution if rank of A equal to rank of augmented matrix. So now AX equal to B has a solution for any B that need not be true. We cannot generalize the statement. You can go with any example. AX equal to 0 does not have a solution. So that is also not true. If AX equal to B has a solution, then it is unique. So this is true because AX equal to if they had given you if, if it has a solution, it should be unique. So rank of A equal to rank of augmented matrix, then the system has a solution. Now it has a unique solution if that rank of rank equal to number of variables, that is uh, number of columns in the matrix or the value of N. So it is already given a rank equal to N, hence it has a unique solution. So if it has a solution, we don't know whether its solution exists or not, what B is given. So that's why they are mentioning here if, if it has a solution, then it should be unique because rank equal to the number of variables is third option is the answer. Third question, the row space of a 20 by 50 matrix A has dimension 13. What is the dimension of the space of solution of x equal to 0? So, row space has dimension 13. 13. Dimension of row space is nothing but rank of that matrix uh, is equal to 13. The next uh, solution space of x equal to 0 is nothing but nullity of uh, the given matrix. So dimension of solution space of x equal to 0 is dimension of null space that is nothing but n of a. So that we have to find out is equal to how much. So now we know that m by n matrix always has a linear transformation that is from Rn to Rm, from column space to row space. So therefore, using the because I make you I want to use rank nullity theorem to make use of rank, rank nullity theorem, we should have this uh, rank of a plus uh, nullity of a equal to dimension of the domain. So you should know which is the domain. Domain is nothing but the column. Number of columns, dimension of the domain space is nothing but the columns, uh, ve column vectors. So it is 20 by 50 matrix. So dimension of R50 it is. So n of a equal to uh, 13 plus n of a equal to 50, n of a equal to 37, 50 minus 13. That is the th fourth option is the answer. Fourth question, which of the following subsets of R power 4 is the basis of R power 4? Now you know that these are the four vectors with the four coordinates. Hence, uh, whenever you have four vectors in R4, the way to check whether they are linearly independent or not is the finding the value of their determinants. There are four vectors and with the four coordinates. If you have three vectors with the three coordinates of R cube, then again you have to go with the determinant to check whether they are linearly independent or not. If the determinant comes out to be zero, they are linearly de dependent. If the determinant non-zero, linearly independent. Let us do that B1, B2, B3. All the three sets will have four vectors with the four coordinates. So you will have four uh, rows and four columns. So B1, you find out the determinant. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Get the determinant which is 1 not equal to 0. So this is linearly in independent. B2 is also linearly independent. Whereas B3, it comes out to you, though it is 4 by 4 matrix, we can simply it further these are all uh, low upper triangle lower triangular matrices here uh, upper triangle uh, this is also lower triangular matrix hence the determinant is product of diagonal element so it is one here it is uh, 24 here but b3 you have to uh, bring it down to 3 by 3 matrix hence you will get 5 into 0 equal minus 2 into minus 5 into 0 equal to 0 it is coming hence they, it is not linearly independent so our answer is b first of all to say make it as a basis like to say it as a basis it should be linear independent its span should be equal to the entire vector space. first of all it should be linearly independent that's not happening you can stop there b1 and b2 are basis and uh, but not b3 so which of the following no need to check for span you know that uh, 
in a uh, n vectors of R n. Okay, n linearly independent vectors of R n always forms a always spans the given space. Hence, hence it linearly independent vector so always is, uh, forms a basis. Okay. Next fifth question which of the following is a linear transformation from r cube to r square so there are four possibilities three possibilities given here so you have to linear transformation first says that 0 comma 0 should map should be mapped to 0 okay 0 goes to 0 and uh, lines remain lines lines will be mapped to lines that is what the uh, visual meaning of linear transformation so that's nothing but uh, we will say g of alpha x plus beta y equal to g alpha into g of x plus beta into g of y this is the formal definition but first you have to check whether zero is it mapped to zero that is the first case to eliminate the function which are not linear transformation so when you put it here zero 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 it is not going to zero four it goes to four zero so this is not at all linear transformation Transformation. you can skip that option now uh, out of these two both will go to 0 0 0 0 0 0 comma 0 and 0 0 0 0 0 so both are going to 0 now again you have to make a choice out of these two which is a linear transformation so for that you go with the second condition so take this g of x y z it is going to x y comma x y x plus y now you take any scalar multiplication take take alpha equal to minus 1 g of alpha into x comma y comma z equal to g of uh, alpha is minus 1 multiply minus x minus y minus z that gives you uh, then apply this uh, x y minus x minus y x y then uh, minus x minus y this is your g of alpha this is g of alpha x it should be equal to alpha into g of x so this is uh, you have to check whether is it happening so alpha into g of x comma y alpha is minus 1 into x y comma x plus y so minus x y comma minus x minus y second coordinate same but first coordinate differs therefore g of alpha x is not equal to alpha into g of x and g is not a linear transformation though only one re option re remain that is only h so if you want you check with that otherwise is this the only option remain hence it should be a linear transformation now next question let d1 equal determinant of this matrix and d2 is determinant of this matrix then which of the option is correct d1 is given as i have written in the determinant notation d2 is equal to this now let me simplify d2 d2 i will simplify because it should be made e uh, look its look should be made as per the look of a d1 so uh, what i'll do is here i am i'm going to interchange the rows and columns take the transpose even if you take the transpose value of the determinant remains same minus x a minus b y minus b q z minus c r then after that see here first row of d1 is a b c uh, second row is xyz third row is pq that is there now let me interchange these two uh, rows when you interchange any two rows or any two columns of a determinant then value of the determinant changes its sign so it was plus earlier so it becomes minus a minus b minus c x minus x y z and minus pq are as it is now what i'm going to do is your d2 um, you have to change uh, you have to take this minus sign inside that is uh, multiply the first row by minus sign so minus 1 minus 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 plus b minus minus plus c rest all remain same i am multiplying only the first row by this entry because minus is taken inside and multiplied with the first row now on this first column look at this first column this first column contains a minus common so you can take that minus common then you will get a b c x y z p q r now look at the given matrix d1 both are same so d2 equal to minus of d1 or else d1 equal to minus d2 anything is fine as the option is given in terms of d1 equal to minus d2 hence third option is the answer next question uh, let a be a real 3 by 4 matrix of rank 2 then rank of a transpose into a where a transpose denotes the transpose of a is we know that rank of a transpose is equal to rank of a similarly rank of a transpose into a is also equal to rank of a hence uh, it's a simple question rank of a transpose into a should be equal to rank of a rank of a is given as a 2 so it is exactly equal to 2 next question consider the matrix cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta where theta equal 2 pi by 31 then what is the value of a to the power 2015 
So first let me take this matrix A and let us take the transpose of A cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta. So A into A transpose cos theta cos square theta plus sin square theta 1 cos theta minus sin theta minus uh, uh, plus sin theta cos theta cancels 0 0 1. It's nothing but identity matrix. A A dash equal to identity matrix means A is an orthogonal matrix. So for any orthogonal matrix A theta to the power n is always given by A n theta. Okay, because the given matrix is in terms of theta, cos theta, sin theta. A theta to the power n is a n theta. So, a, a theta to the power 2015 gave given. A 2015 into theta equal to a 2015 into theta is 2 pi by 31 mentioned in the question. A, this is after simplification, 130 pi. So, theta equal to 130 pi. Let us substitute in the matrix so, cos 130 pi, sin 130 pi, minus sin 130 pi, cos 130 pi. So, cos, cos of even pi is always 1. Cos, sin of any pi is always 0. So, 1, 0, 0, 1. That is equal to identity matrix. So, next question. Let V be the vector space of all real polynomials of degree less than or equal to 10. Let T P of X. That is, this linear transformation is given like this. Is equal to P dash of X. Means, a polynomial is mapped to its derivative. Consider the basis. The basis, uh, the usual standard basis of this polynomial space. That is, X to the power 10 of x to the power 10 of this v let a be the matrix of t with respect to this basis then what is the what are the options these four options out of these four options which option is the correct option so let us find out how to get the matrix of t that is with respect to this basis let us find the matrix of t so t of 1 take the first polynomial what is the derivative of 1 is 0 t of 1 will be mapped to 0 t of x will be mapped to derivative of x is 1 derivative of x square is 2x derivative of x power 9 is 9x power 8 and x derivative of x power 10 is 10 x power 9 so now um, this 0 we have to write it in the uh, basis vectors 0 is 0 into 1 plus 0 into x plus 0 into x square plus so on up to 0 into x power 10 so these coefficients you have to uh, list out later now 1 can be written as 1 into 1 plus rest all 0 list all uh, vectors will have the uh, coefficient 0 polynomials 2x means 0 into 1 plus 2 into x rest all 0. Similarly, 3x square means 0 into 1 plus 2 0 into x plus 3 into x square rest all 0. So similarly, the last x power 10 into x power 9, 10 into x power 9 plus 0 into x power 10. So when you can now collect all the coefficients, your matrix of t is given by writing it in the column form. 0, 0, 0, 0, first column, next 1, 0, 0, 0, next 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, and so on up to last column is 0. Everything here, 0. Okay, this is, um, here comes here comes 10, last but 1, then last column will be equal to 0. So now, uh, you know that uh, this is the matrix of T. Trace is nothing but sum of diagonal elements. So when you take all diagonal elements, this like this, it comes out to be all zeros only will come in the diagonal, sum of diagonal elements that is equal to 0. So determinant of A is equal to product of diagonal elements. Uh, so product of diagonal, rest all here 0, upper triangular, kind of upper triangular matrix it is. Hence, you will get here uh, uh, sum of diagonal elements, product of diagonal elements that is equal to 0. Determinant of A is equal to 0. Trace of A equal options you check. Trace of A equal to 1 not possible. Sum of diagonal elements it is coming out to be 0. So, trace of A must be 0. So, determinant of A is equal to product of diagonal elements that is equal to 0. Hence, determinant of A is equal to 0 is the correct answer. Next, if A is a 5 by 5 real matrix uh, with the trace equal to 15 and uh, if 2 and 3 are eigenvalues of A with multiplicity 2, what is the determinant of A? Trace of A is given as 15. Eigenvalues are 2 and 3 with the multiplicity. So, multiplicity 2 means 2 repeated twice, 3 repeated twice. As it is a 5 by 5 real matrix, there should be 5 eigenvalues, which is the fifth eigenvalue. So, it can be found using the formula trace of A equal to sum of eigenvalues. So, here trace of A is 15, sum of eigen 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus x, the fifth eigen. So, x comes out to be 5, x is equal to 5. Now, there is a formula to find out determinant of A. Determinant of A is equal to product of eigenvalues. So, determinant of A is product of eigenvalues. Hence, uh, you will get uh, here, this is equal to 
uh, 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 because we got the fifth eigenvalue so answer comes out to be 180 so there is for this question also uh, see last column is 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 a zero column and so it's a vector having all uh, it's a column having all the entries zero hence determinant is equal to zero no need to go with that product concept also you can directly say that the determinant is equal to zero as one or any column or any row is equal to uh, zero row or zero column then its value of the determinant must be equal to zero okay. i hope you understood the solutions for all these 10 problems thank you for watching